Hi friends, welcome to Storytime. How are you doing today? I thought we would try singing a new song today. It goes like this. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With all our friends at Storytime, we wave and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With all our friends at Storytime, we clap and sing hello. What do you think? Should we sing it one more time? Okay. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With all our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Great job, friends. That was a pretty fun song. We can still sing the more we get together, but I think sometimes it's fun to change things up, don't you? Well, the book we're gonna read today is called Stay, and it's all about a dog and a girl and a bucket list. I think you're really gonna like it, so why don't we start reading? This is Stay, a girl, a dog, and a bucket list. It was written by Kay Cleese and illustrated by M. Sarah Cleese. Hmm. They have the same last name. Do you think maybe they could be related? Before we start reading, why don't we take a peek at the back and this back cover where it tells you about the author and the illustrator. If you look, it says Kate Cleese is the author of several picture books and novels, including Grounded and Homesick. She frequently collaborates, that means she works together with, her sister, Illustrator M. Sarah Cleese. Look at that. Kate and Sarah are sisters. Wouldn't that be fun to write a story and draw pictures with your brother or sister or any other person in your life? Maybe you could try that sometime. For now, let's read the story. Stay. A Girl, a Dog, a Bucket List, published by Fuel and Friends of New York, which is an imprint of Macmillan Publishing. When Astrid came home from the hospital, Eli was there waiting. He was Astrid's first friend. Who do you think is Astrid and who do you think is Eli? I see there's a dog waiting. So I think the dog must be Eli. And this little bundle of blankets is probably a baby. And I bet that's Astrid. In time, Eli also became Astrid's personal bodyguard. Yup, so that's Astrid and that's Eli. Her favorite pillow and sometimes her best hiding place. Astrid and Eli had many things in common. They lived in the same house, ate at the same table, and slept in the same bed. If you have a pet, do they ever sleep in your bed with you? Or are they not allowed to? I have a dog named Annie, and sometimes she likes to cuddle with me in my bed, but she never sleeps overnight in it. The only, there was only one difference. Astrid was a girl and Eli was a boy and a dog. That's a pretty big difference, isn't it? As they grew older, Astrid began to notice other differences. I'm getting bigger than you, she said. Yes, thought Eli, but I'm getting older than you. It was true. For every birthday Astrid celebrated, Eli had the equivalent, that means the same amount, of six or seven birthdays, sometimes eight. So this is Astrid's birthday and there are one, two, three, four, five candles. That's a lot of math, friends. But if we take this number seven, and multiply it by five, that means take five seven times. That means that Eli is 
35 years old. That's a lot older than Astrid, isn't it? When Astrid was six, she was still a young girl, but Eli was an old dog. By then, Astrid noticed it too. You walk so slowly now, Astrid told Eli one day at the beginning of summer. They stopped in the park to buy a bucket of popcorn. Popcorn is nice, said Astrid, but let's pretend we're eating spaghetti with meatballs. Spaghetti with meatballs, thought Eli. That sounds delicious. Which would you rather eat, popcorn or spaghetti with meatballs? I like them both, but I've actually never had meatballs with my spaghetti before. I'll have to try it sometime. After they finished their snack, Astrid took Eli to the playground. Eli, Astrid said, have you ever been down a slide? You really should before you get too old. So with Astrid's help, Eli slid down the sun-warm slide. That was fun, Eli thought. Who knew? I'm going to make a list, Astrid said, of all the things you should do before you get too old. We can do everything on this list together. The first thing on their bucket list was a bike ride. So Astrid is writing all the things that she wants to do with Eli on a bucket. And I think that's why she's calling it their bucket list. But a bucket list is also something that a lot of people write of things they wanna do before they get too old. I'm not sure I can teach you how to ride a bike, Astrid told Eli the next day, but I can give you a ride on mine. And she did. This is better than riding in a car, Eli thought. The next day, Astrid took Eli to the library where they checked out lots of books about dogs. I don't know why I've never read to you before, said Astrid. I'm glad I put this on your bucket list. Me too, thought Eli, who enjoyed looking at the pictures. Do you ever read to your dog's friends? Or your cats or any other pets you have? Maybe a sibling or your mom or dad? So much fun to read to other people or animals. A week later, they went to see a movie. Astrid asked for special permission from the theater owner. That's really important. You never want to bring an animal into a theater without asking permission first. Unless it's a stuffed animal, then it's okay. I'll be quiet, Eli promised. They're going to see Lassie, which is a movie all about a dog. They came home and slept under the stars until it started raining. Then they went inside. Eli slept with Astrid under the covers. That was also on their bucket list. They sure look cozy. The following week, Astrid gave Eli a bubble bath. And after that, she brushed his clean fur for a full hour. Look how handsome you are, Astrid said. I am handsome, Eli thought. I'm also very old. It was true. Astrid knew it too. So she added one more thing to the bucket list. The last treat would be a surprise for Eli. Ooh, a surprise. What do you think it might be? Do you think they're gonna do something extra special? Let's turn the page and find out. Oh, where do you think they are? What does this look like? They're sitting at tables and they have special, they have a menu and there's candles in the middle. And what's, who's this? Sometimes called a waiter. If you guessed restaurant, you got it right. On Saturday night, Astrid took Eli to a restaurant for dinner. Two plates of spaghetti with meatballs, Astrid told the waiter. When their meals arrived, Astrid beamed. This is what you deserve for being the best friend in the world. It 
is delicious, thought Eli, but I wish we were having popcorn in the park. As the weeks passed, Eli's fur faded from gray to white. His eyesight became weak. His legs often ached. He no longer had the strength to walk to the park. So they stayed home and remembered their happy times together. Is there anything else you want to do before you get too old? Astrid asked. Anything at all? Whatever it is, I'll add it to the bucket list. This, thought Eli. Just this. He looks very happy. Being with Astrid was the only thing left on Eli's bucket list. It was the only thing that had ever been on Eli's bucket list. The end. That was a great story, friends. If you had a bucket list, what would you put on it? I think if I had a bucket list, I would have to put on going to the beach and spending more time with my family and my dog. Speaking of dogs, why don't we sing a song about them? It goes like this. The ears on the dog go flap, 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 flap. The ears on the dog go flap, 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 all through the town. The paws on a dog go trot, 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 trot. The paws on the dog go trot, 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 all through the town. The tail on the dog goes wag, 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 wag. The tail on the dog goes wag, 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 all through the town. The nose on the dog goes sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniff, 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 sniff. The nose on the dog goes sniff, sniff, sniff all through the town. What did you think? That was kind of fun, wasn't it? Should we sing it again? Okay. The ears on the dog go flap, 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 flap. The ears on the dog go flap, flap, flap all through the town. The paws on the dog go trot, 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 trot. The paws on the dog go trot, 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 all through the town. The tail on the dog goes wag, 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 wag. The tail on the dog goes wag, 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 all through the town. The nose on the dog goes sniff, sniff, sniff. Sniff, 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 sniff. The, the nose on the dog goes sniff, 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 all through the town. Great job, friends. Well, I'm so glad you joined me for story time today. Don't forget to sign up for summer reading so you can join us for fun summer crafts, cool activities, and of course, you can win cool prizes too. I hope you join me next time for story time. Bye, friends.